A lot of you guys have been asking me lately, Bagel, what is going on with the Dragons B12 contest? We're supposed to be having a Dragons B12 contest for the SWC packs. You said we're going to do it. Where has it been? Did you choose winners? What's going on? So, just as a recap for the Dragons B12 contest, um, there was a lot of submissions that came in. Many, 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 many of them, many, many, many of them were wrong in one way or another or another. So the goal, let me just recap the goal. The goal was to try and get people to show their fun, creative, whatever fun, creative Dragons B12 teams they can come up with that can complete the dungeon and viewers can see and be like, oh, that's a cool team. Maybe I can build that. That's a cool team. Maybe I can build that. Or even if they can't build it, just like, oh, that's an interesting team for the lulls. I'm getting some enjoyment and excitement out of it. So many teams, so many teams were either not teams, <laughs> not for dragons, not for B12, uh, completely irrelevant, not even anything, and just like asking me questions in the form. Um, tri uh, triple Akaru, which we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second because they, Bagel, uh, isn't this a trip? Is this it's triple Akaru? It's different. You, you've seen the thumbnail, I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail, and so you know it's different. But anyway, a lot of that is just like, or, or teams that I already came up with and showed people. And I'm like, that's great that you're using it, and I'm glad that it's working for you. But like, the point of this was for people to come up with creative, fun, interesting Dragons B12 teams. So, been going through, been sorting all those out. Got a lot done, but there's still a lot more to do. But so, such a large percentage of them were just not correct. So did find some that were creative and can actually run Dragons B12. I've been saying B10 this entire time. Uh, Dragons B12, I've been saying B12. Anyway, found some that can run Dragons B12. So over the next couple days, because I know the pack is gonna expire in a little bit. So over the next couple days, we're gonna go and we're gonna show a lot of different Dragons B12 teams. Actually, I have a little uh, thing for the contest just to show. Pick a handful of teams I feel the most fun and creative and spotlighting them over the next few days and then you guys are going to vote for what you think the best ones will be and then we'll do uh, we'll give away three packs. I already said the rest of it but yeah we'll give away three packs based on the most fun, creative, exciting ones. Speaking of fun, creative and exciting and different and unique. Triple Akaru! But this is different because this is not a vertiheel. I don't know if you guys can see by the screen this is definitely not Vertiheel uh, grew some facial hair and some horns and changed his outfit. No, obviously this is not Vertiheel. So I thought this was different and unique enough that yes, Triple Akaru, because you know, Triple Akaru is Triple Akaru, but this team works with no Vertiheel and Zeratu instead. And I was like, yo, I think people would get a kick out of actually seeing that. So this is, this is our first contestant for the Dragons B12. And we'll bring some more uh, fun, interesting, creative things in there. So basically, they just team up with the Zeratu and lots of continuous damage and lots of continuous damage and lots of continuous damage. And watch, this is going to be the- I already tested this team, I already know it works. Um, watch, this is going to be the only, the only one that fails. The, so, interesting thing about this is as soon as one of the Ikarus takes a defense break, they don't really die from the defense break because they're so tanky, but as soon as they take a defense break, they will team up with less units. So, yeah, just, uh, just FYI. But so many dots, so many dots on the dragon that it, uh, just blows through him. Oh, wait, it, it blows through him? So many dots on the dragon that he just dies from the dots, is, is what I'm saying. And then, yep, there you go. And then here's the thing on here. Actually, every time I, every time I've seen this, uh, seen this actually do its thing, the dragon actually gets his immunity on. Right? Every single time, but it still does so much damage regardless. Uh, I would like for it to have more additional damage from the Zeratu, but it still does so much damage that it still it still beats it, even with the even with the immunity on that we're not actually doing any continuous damage, but the Zeratu does so much damage and so many team-ups and so many more team-ups that it just works. It just it works and it eventually just uh just goes through it. So, one minute it's roughly around the one minute ten uh Point two. I'm just gonna. I don't know what he necessarily needs for this, so I'm just gonna keep whatever. But I thought this was the. Oh, well, I already showed you guys. And then the the Akaru's are just ruined like normally, uh, just normal standard Akaru rune situation. 
So, I mean, it doesn't quite do triple Cairo things all the time, like I said, for any time there's a defense break, because the enemies actually get turns and they can put defense breaks on when they get their turns. So it doesn't always do its full triple Karu nonsense of always get- Hey, of always get- That's the first time I saw that one happen. I don't think I- I, I don't think I saw the, uh, the dragon take a turn- Uh, take a actual, like, do one of those yet. Don't- don't- Oh, I was gonna say, don't tell me this, uh, this Ikaru actually dies now. That'd be so sad. That'd be super sad. Alright, we got some team-ups, we got some more team-ups, we got some more team-ups. All those dots. That dots so much damage. So much damage. And then more team ups. And then more team ups. And it's fine here. Like, they're, they'll just keep teaming up here because they have, uh. Oh! Never mind! Never mind. I was gonna say they'll keep teaming up here. Maybe this. Is this gonna be our first fail? I haven't seen a fail yet. So. No, Zeratu's got this. There you. Wow, that was close. That was close. We gotta do it one more time. We gotta do one more time, just just for consistency's sake. But I did actually see, I did see this uh, going beforehand. So, triple Zeratu, not triple, triple Zer triple Karu and Zeratu. I thought this was, I thought this was uh, interesting. So, no Vertiheal, just three Karus and a Zeratu. I changed the placement though, but I don't, I you know what? I don't like the placement here anyway. Whatever. I was trying to make it visually appealing, but I'm triggered either way. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's so nice to see. It's so fulfilling to see just this Zeratu go crazy. Maybe it's just fulfilling because I don't have him. And it seems like a fun unit. Zeratu seems like a fun unit. Jealous of all you Zeratu owners. Because like, yeah, uh, you know what else seems like a fun unit bagel? Artemiel. Jealous of you Artemiel owners. Bagel. Okay, I'll give you that. Artemiel's a fun unit too. You know what's a fun unit? Light Monkey. I don't know, man. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't understand the people that are like not fans of Light Monkey. Because I know some people that have Light Monkey like, oh, I don't even, I didn't even build him. I don't even have runes on him. I'm like, what? But... One of my favorite units. All right, guys. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you that. So that is... They already got one of those bags. So that is that. We have him as our first official entry into the contest. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Just wanted to show a little brief thing about the first team. Very cool. Very fun. Thank you for the submission. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next submission. There's going to be a lot of videos in the next couple days.